Hello guys, Janos here and welcome to 7 Nights 2 and seems like we are getting a new update. And now let's check out the details of the contents of this new update. It says right over here, greetings, this is the 7 Nights 2 team. Here are the details for the 2nd December update. Update summary, maintenance schedule that's gonna start 22nd of December, that is today, 2 a.m. onwards, meaning like this update is already in effect, and it's gonna last until 7 a.m. That's gonna be a five hour long of maintenance time. Maintenance compensation, 300 rubies. Okay, that's great. Now let's check out the update details. New content, number one, new hero release. The new legendary hero, named nightmare tracker chris will be released okay the new hero nightmare tracker chris will be added to the forgotten hero seven nights in the hero codex all right so yeah there we go guys and that's it now let's check out the debut trailer of this new legendary hero nightmare tracker chris my dear friend all right i must defeat you now in order to get out of here bring it on please do not forgive me He's really giving me that Virgil vibes. Look at that, look at that, look at that, that's... I mean like, all of those skill sets are really belonging to Virgil. Wow, alright, this is actually a tribute to Virgil, in my opinion, in this game. So if you are a really big fan of Virgil from Devil May Cry series, then well, I think this guy is definitely going to mimic a lot of skills of Virgil out here and that's gonna be a really good you know like stuff I myself am a fan of a DMC okay so anyways that say now let's check out the skill sets of this unit let's see if we are really supposed to summon for him or not all right that said let's go to this link right over here I will be providing the link down in the description of this video check it out if you want to check it out by yourself okay it says nightmare tracker Chris ranged legendary unit okay let's find out more about the nightmare tracker Chris okay Oh well, we have got another video out here as well. Okay, let's check it out. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. Oh! Come on, it's Virgil! It's Virgil, man, it's Virgil. Okay, that was great, wasn't it? Anyways, that's it. Now let's check out the details of Nightmare Tracker Crest, okay, great, legendary, type ranged, hero codex, forgotten hero seven knights, content, four player raid, eight player raid, okay, skill, ultimate, rulers, judgment, it says, deals damage equal to 1446% of attack to the target, and deals additional damage proportional to 14.9% of the target's reduced HP, so that means like this guy is gonna be really good as the battle goes on, okay? So that means like he, like this character is really meant to be used in the boss fights and the raid contents. That's why he's meant for the 4 player raid and the 8 player raid contents where we are going to fight against bosses with humongous HP and it's gonna take a lot of time for us to take them down right so in that case definitely this guy is gonna be a really amazing unit to be used in the raid contents okay this skill right over here totally meant for the long ass battle okay and as uh more the HP the enemy is gonna lose, the more the damage that the enemy is gonna be taking afterwards. That's great. Next is gonna be the active skill known as Sword of the Damned. Deals damage equal to 578.4% of attack to the target, 100% chance of decreasing the target's defense by 40% for 20 seconds. I would say that is pretty amazing, especially in the fight against the boss units, okay? I mean like, uh, lesser the defense of the target, definitely the more the damage that you will be able to push on on that enemy right so that is really great though his uh, damage multiplier don't seem to be really that fancy okay it's not really that high as we already do have the legendary miss velvet providing more than 5,000 percentage of attack damage modifier out there so compared to miss velvet he is pretty much nothing all right but when it comes to the percentage based damage uh, to a target as the battle keeps progressing on, that would be really, really helpful in the long ass battles, okay? Next is gonna be the Nightmare Splitter. That says, deals damage equal to 1,156.8% of attack that is distributed among all enemies within a circular range around the target. So lesser the enemies, more the damage that he can push through, okay? Next is gonna be his active skill known as Black Moon. Increases the combo chance of the caster 59.3% for 25 seconds. Definitely helpful for him to push out extra DPS on the enemies out there. 
Next is gonna be his passive skill, King of Darkness. Increases the crit rate of all allies in, I mean like by 23.6%, which I would say is pretty humongous. It's really great, okay? I really love it, all right? It's gonna be definitely really helpful for us to actually uh, compensate for the lack of the crit rate on our allies. Because the gear system, the equipment system in this game is a little bit kind of restricted, okay? Uh, compared to like Epic 7 or other R uh, RPG games out there, we can totally build up on 100% crit rate without any problem at all but in this game i mean like it's kind of a little bit tricky <laughs> especially for the beginners out there so having that 23.6 percent of crit rate boost right away that is definitely very very acceptable and very welcoming in seven nights too so definitely this guy has a really great damage dealing potential but sadly i would say this guy might not be really that superb when it comes to pvp contents is really meant for the raid contents and the boss battles okay so that said guys i would love to put him around around like in the A plus overall tier what do you guys think let me know down in the comment section below you can place him in the S tier unit as well uh, but that's all there is to it for me right now I would actually just put him in like a plus I mean like his damage modifier it's not really that humongous <laughs> okay I mean like he really needs the enemy to get its HP reduced from time to time so that he can actually push out his ultimate skill and it's not that like he can actually keep on spamming his ultimate skill very frequently okay it's gonna take some time for it to be really that effective so considering all that situations out there I mean like I would say this guy would be in the A plus tier okay not really one of the brightest unit out there but definitely a very amazing unit for the raid contents that said uh, that is pretty much it and if you're asking me should you really summon for him I would say for me I would not I would actually you know like wait for even better units out there if they are actually gonna get released I will really try to summon for them but this guy as I'm a free to play player, I would really want to get the best value for my rubies. So I will not be summoning for him. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would say you can pretty much skip this banner if you want to. Okay? Because like we are supposed to save our uh, rubies for the units like Legendary Miss Velvet. Okay? Units like that. They are really worth our uh, like entire sess. So yeah, there we go guys. And now let's check out the other uh, update contents. That's gonna be number two. Celestial Tower Expansion, a new content guys. And um, that means like we can actually compete even in the higher stages of the tower so that we can get some really good rewards like 500 rubies, 1100 rubies, right? Mercenary Token, Crystal of Dimension, uh, Imperial Order, Legendary Enhancement Stone, Legendary Plus Armor Summon Voucher, and so on and on. That's so great indeed. Number three, Guild War regular season announcement. Okay, so finally it's it has started. So yeah, blah blah blah. Schedule. Yes, here we go. These are the schedule out here. You can check out the link. I will be providing down in the description of this video if you want to check it out in detail. Uh, rewards, normal rewards. All right, for the guild, we are gonna get a lot of topaz and we are gonna get a lot of chest out here, like three rarities. One is gonna be fine Guild War reward. Next is gonna be un uncommon Guild War reward chest. And finally, it's going to be the lesser guild war reward chest and the, uh, you know, rewards that we can possibly get from this chest. They are uh, mentioned right over here. So look at those rewards. Pretty good rewards in my opinion. Anyways, that's it. Uh, regular season rewards. We are going to be getting a lot of topaz. We are also going to get a lot of light crystal and forgotten memory. Okay, so guild content, really good stuff in this game. Uh, that's it. Next is going to be the new event details. View all events in progress. Okay, Nightmare Tracker Chris up upgrade support special mission. I would say it's a little bit pay to win content. <laughs> I mean like, you know... And the first mission is to get our units to level 38. I mean, like, we need a lot more, you know, this uh, way to, you know, like, to limit break them, right? And that's quite a, a bit problematic. Like, we have to transcend them. So that's the thing out there, and uh, it definitely requires us to invest something right over there. Not, I'm not really happy with this, especially as a free-to-play player. Next is going to be special mission play event 1 and 2. Period 12-22, uh, 1-5 uh, before maintenance. Okay, so there we go, guys. Uh, details. Complete special missions during the event period to receive various rewards, including a legendary armor summon voucher and legendary hero summon voucher fragments. Wow, that is great. I love this item. I love this item. Okay. Number three. Happy New Year check-in event. Okay. It says, log in every day during the event period to acquire various login rewards through this event. If you successfully log in for seven days, you can acquire selected red up hero summon tickets, which can be used to try to summon a legendary plus hero. Anyways, uh, even if they are rate boosted, it's going to be only about like 0.3 or 0.4%. No, 0.04% chance. Yeah, F with the rate boost, they have 0.04% chance to drop, I believe. 
uh, which I would say is next to none as well, right? <laughs> so it's really sad. Anyways, wish you best of luck to get your hands on a really good legendary plus hero like Shane or let's say our Rudy as well, right? And so on and on. Next is gonna be hero raid up summon event right over here. It says during the event period when summoning uh, heroes via special or raid up summon, summon rates are increased. Okay. A special summon Nestra's plus uh, uh, legendary plus Nestra's disciple Ming. So what? Oh, Ming is out here, guys. Okay. And Ming, not one of the best unit out there, so we can totally skip on it. No problem. A raid up summon for the legendary Night Bliss, uh, Nightmare uh, Tracker Chris. Very great unit for the raid, but that's all there is to it. Uh, next is going to be Legendary Annihilation Knight Delons. Okay, now this guy is really good. I mean, like, his hits are guaranteed critical damage. So, hey, <laughs> that's really awesome, isn't it? And he also improves, I think, the attack power of entire allies, if I'm not wrong. It's something like that. And he can also deal defense ignoring damage to the enemies out there. Like, he can ignore 40% of the defense of the enemies, right? So, hey, Delon's really amazing in it. You can totally go for him. And I think I will try to summon for him. <laughs> Next is gonna be number 5. Soul Stone and Ruby Cell event. Details. During the event period, Nestra's Disciple Ming, Nightmare Tracker Chris, and Annihilation Knight Delon's Hero Soul Stones can be purchased from the rubies in the shop. Okay. New Hero Celebration Ruby Product Purchase uh, First Purchase Bonus Reset Event. Uh, details. The first purchase bonus, a Ruby plus Topaz, and the general shop Ruby will be reset. Okay. Uh, ending events, guys. So, well, Legendary plus Ruby, it's gonna come to an end. Legendary Miss Velvet Banner, it's gonna come to an end. And Legendary Yonhei, it will also come to an end. Okay. A special Mission Play Event 1 and 2 will end as well. Sanguine Rose, Miss Velvet, and Knight of the Light, a Ruby upgrade uh, support special mission will end as well. So, there we go. And there were lots of fixed issues and improvements out here. That's it. That's pretty much it for all the details that we can get for the recent update. So these are all the new contents that's going to be coming. And definitely uh, looking into the legendary Chris. Uh, it's totally up to you if you want to summon or not. I will not be summoning for him. I think you can totally skip him if you want to. But if you are really focusing on the raids, you really want to be really good at raid contents, then well, I would say Chris is definitely going to be a really great help to you guys, okay? In my opinion, he's an A-plus tier unit. Uh, if you guys have different opinion, please do let me know in the comments section below what you guys think about him. I would really love to know about your views, opinions, and ideas, okay? There may be something that I might be missing it out, so I would really love to hear it out from you guys. That's it. That is it for today. See you guys in the next video. Have fun with the new update contents of 7 Nights 2.